All right, guys, welcome to JoJo Cider Reviews and more. I'm JoJo. I got a good one tonight, guys. I got a beer out of Frost Beer Works out of Heinsberg, Vermont. I'm talking about Double Shush. And this is an Imperial IPA. And although I heard it's kind of a hybrid between a, you know, a double, an Imperial IPA, which is a double American West Coast IPA, um, and it's also kind of like a double New England IPA, kind of like a hybrid. That's what I've read. I got this in Sudbury, Massachusetts at a craft beer store. And 8% alcohol by volume, 60 IBUs. It gets a 92 out of 100 on Beer Advocate. I've reviewed another Frost beer, I think late last year, the Double Plush, which is a New England IPA. And I said in that video, I'll say it again, a lot of people, you know, in Vermont, they talk about, you know, Hill Farmstead, Alchemist, amazing breweries, obviously amazing breweries, but a lot of the locals really, really like Frost Beer Works. So I've become a big fan of them. So I thought I'd review this one for you guys tonight. Let's go right in for the pour. All right, see what we got here. Interesting. So it is hazy, but also kind of reminds me, it's got like that grapefruit type color um, that you would, I feel like you would see a lot in the Imperial IPAs or the regular West Coast IPAs, but it would be more clear. I feel like a lot of the American IPAs are clear. Um, it has like, the, they have like this, you know, same color type thing, like a kind of like a dark brown, very dark orange, but this also is pretty hazy. So it is kind of, so far it's kind of like a hybrid between the two styles. About a finger of head. A little tint of orange there. If you can see that, nice looking beer. You can hardly see through the glass, just like barely shadows. Um, can't really see any bubbles streaming up. I'm sure there are some, but it's hard to see. It's going for the aroma. Okay, so I'm getting some some grapefruit, some malt character as well, like white white bread, biscuity, a little bit of piney, some tangerine and orange. Salute. Hmm, interesting. It's kind of a uh, get that grapefruit, but also getting like a nutty flavor, honestly, in the uh, in the in the taste. Now the citrus is kind of coming through, the tangerine, some grapefruit. The flavor reminds me more of, I gotta say, yeah, like a West Coast Imperial IPA. There are some characteristics of a New England IPA. Like for instance, the bitterness is, well, it's a moderate bitterness, but it's not like, you know, kind of punching in the, in the face like some of the West Coast IPAs do. Um, but the flavor, I'm getting kind of like a malty, kind of like a grapefruit piney type thing. But also like a nutty flavor as well, which is interesting. Session ability is not high, 8%. Doesn't taste like 8% though, so this is really could really sneak up on you. Um, decent amount of lacing, kind of leaving some good lacing behind. Mouthfeel, say high medium mouthfeel. Beer has a lot of body to it. I definitely recommend that I got it in a four pack. I don't know how easily it is to obtain. This is the first time I've seen it. I got it about a week ago. Like I said, I've seen the plush before. Uh, so I reviewed Lush, if I, I might have said that incorrectly. I haven't reviewed plush yet, but I have reviewed Lush last year. And, oh, I've also reviewed the Heavies and Imperial uh, Stout from Frost Beer Works, also very good. It's a really great brewery. A little bit of a creamy mouthfeel, but um, 
in general, I'm getting more of like a, a malt forward kind of grapefruit. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like an English IPA too. I can see some characteristics, like I said, with the, you know, the haziness and bitterness isn't overwhelming. So I can see some of the, uh, some tropical notes. It kind of resembles an English IPA as well, but I'm going to judge it within a double West Coast IPA style, an Imperial IPA, if you will. And one more sip before I score it. Go with a 91 out of 100. It's an A minus. Uh, what is beer? Beer after he gives it 92, so I'm almost, yep, one point behind them. So I don't always agree with their scoring, but pretty close with this one. Uh, again, this is double shush. They have a regular sh uh, shush, which is just a single West Coast IPA. This is the double. And really good one, though, guys. Highly recommend it. Hope you guys can find it. If you try to let me know what you think in the comments. Appreciate you guys watching. As always, guys, salute.